now have a SIG Human Rights Group, uh, followed by Indigenous Peoples International Center for Policy Research. Detect is inclusive in the SDG 2030 goals. We take the position that most civilizations and cultures have well developed concepts of their particular relation to nature, to sustainability, and to ensure survival for future. However, the international language and concepts on sustainable development, whether at the UN or in the States, is expressive of one or at most two civilizations, their historical evolution and their approach to nature and life. People are the most important aspect in the success of any policy and campaign. If the language and policies do not make sense to the people, they feel disenfranchised. We started a project to look at how different civilizations have traditionally approached sustainable development and how they can be empowered to be inclusive in the international agenda. For instance, the concepts of Ubuntu, of Confucius, of Indian Dharmas, or of, Indian, or of indigenous people of South America and other regions have quite different conceptual approaches to sustainable development, to human dignity, and other species, which rarely find appreciation, let alone expression within the general language of sustainable development or legalistic language of human rights. We started a project called World Views of Nature with a view to give them more importance and responsibility in SDGs. We will urge the UN to broaden its approach and make people inclusive not by concessionary inclusion or acceptance from one worldview's perspective, by, by take, but by taking a pluralistic approach and bring them on the platform at, as collaborative approaches to SDG 2030. It's not always the money, but also empowerment. Let us empower practices that have worked for centuries. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I now give the floor to Indigenous Peoples International Center for Policy Research, followed by Poland. Thank you, Mr. Chair. 